so. Boom. Look. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. That, my friends, is all in the intake. So we can see there's some of it looks like it's coming from the throttle body itself, but not too much. But look at this build up. So here's the inlet. This is the galley. I'm gonna open this up now and see what that looks like. He's gunked up as well. Look at that. Ridiculous. So that's the inlet you can see over there there's a hole that way if you follow that it's your pcv inlet so that's what our pcv inlet looks like we are definitely doing a catch game to capture to look yeah get this clean because this is madness so just to give you an idea this is the bottom um so oh, we need to make sure but i think this is cylinder one cylinder two to cylinder six so this is what's flowing into our cylinders. This one is the one that looks the best out of all. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. So that's what's flowing into our cylinders. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's go show you what it looks like on the vehicle. Uh, Yep, so it was that that was cylinder one. There's our valves. So you can see if you look in here the uh, injectors at least clean the valves, right? So they don't look all gunked up and stuff, so that's at least okay. Alright guys, so we got the first valve cover off. Um, just checking and seeing what, what it looks like and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to try and figure out how the camshafts come out because I haven't done any research on that part. Um, so yeah, still gonna do that. Um, I wanna show you guys exactly where that leak was taking place um, into the into the um, spark plug belt. So, you know, you can understand how it happened and then I'll show you my idea on, on how to fix it. Here we have our valve cover, right? And as you can see here, we've got our three holes for our spark plugs. And there's the seal. And you can see on the seal there's certain areas where it's dry right so that's where that seal was seated up and you can see it there, seated up against the uh, that spark plug well <clears throat> yeah so that's where the oil's in getting in so what i'm thinking of doing is cleaning this out right uh and then uh, building a gasket around that uh, to seal it up better or building the gasket on that i'm still deciding so basically what's gonna have to happen is this is gonna have to come off these uh, bad boys right here they have to come off um, so the crankshaft can come out uh, but for the crankshaft to come out this is probably going to open up and what I don't know is if this opens up if I need to down there disconnect uh, you can see in there disconnect the um, belts and stuff like that so I can get this off and take it to the police anyway um, yeah don't have the seals yet still waiting for the seals basically this comes off can go out and no, I need to get in there. Um, the other thing is I don't have a valve spring compressor tool so I'm going to have to build one. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> anyway, yep, that's it. Uh, that's this one done. That one's gonna have to come off as well. And then yeah we'll go from there. This is what uh, the plenum is looking like now after I've touched it up and cleaned it up a bit you can see the tubes everything is looking Nice and clean. So they cleaned out nicely. Um, so how did I do this? Well, started off with brake cleaner, but that didn't go so well. So I moved over to the thinners. So lacquer thinners, right, with a paintbrush. And basically just pour the lacquer thinners over and agitate with the paintbrush to get into these uh, casting marks. And then a a rag basically just to soak up all the uh, oil and thinner mixture and yeah she comes out looking like this it's pretty good works well gonna do the upper planer now and then uh, yeah I've, I've also done the gaskets clean them up and stuff uh, so yeah so this is the upper planer since I've cleaned it 
uh, it's pretty much the same procedure. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it's time uh, to store it um, so that we can continue with the motor. Woohoo! Day three. Um, I admit I'm not working very quickly again because I don't have parts. Um, so I'm waiting for parts and to do that I took a week, uh, week's leave um, <laughs> to do this and get it done but the parts haven't come so I was like well pff, then I'm going to use this week to rest and sleep late and all of that. So I've only been starting at about 12 every day um, putting in about five hours worth of work, uh, six hours worth of work. Um, yeah, and uh, <laughs> look what she looks like. So, update. To get the timing cover off, to get the chains off so we can get the sprockets off of the camshafts, to get the camshafts out to gain access to the valve seals, right? We need to take off the pulleys. And I'm not going to attempt to take off these pulleys with this bad boy in the way, right? So... This is what started happening. Um, yeah, stripping the whole front end. So this whole cross member, all of this bracing is coming out. Uh, yeah, everything's coming out so that uh, I can get access to the front of the engine so I can work easily. This being a freaking 15 year old car, all of the clips but one broke. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Other evidence, you can see, yeah, look at this how they've sprayed this bumper on this car again and how poorly they've masked it off i mean look at this uh all over the inside you can see everywhere all the overspray well this is coming off uh slowly stripping down i'll update you guys once i'm halfway through i still need to drain the oil out of the motor because guess what to gain access to the valves you need to take off the camshafts to take off the camshafts you need to take off the valve cover to take off the valve cover you need to take off the pulleys to, um, and also to take off the valve cover there's two bolts that go in through the sump why are you flipping me off you got second row to flip me the bird right and bolt into the bottom of the valve cover so you need to drain the oil and remove the bottom uh, oil pan so you can get an access it's yeah, it turned into a much bigger job than I expected. <laughs> so yeah, basically what I can say is it's turned into a much, much bigger job than I expected. Am I happy? No. <laughs> um, I've got an event next week, Tuesday. Don't think I'm going to be ready for that. So yeah, so we carry on. We do this. Uh, we're continuing with the stripping. So I'm basically just going to show you where I am at the moment and uh, what the plan is for the rest of the day. Pretty much want to get the motor stripped down and ready for for the parts i still don't have them it's day four now um tomorrow's friday and then it's the weekend so i'm hoping i get them either today or tomorrow uh so i can finish the car over the weekend but we'll see where we are stripped all the lights water bottles all of that kind of stuff um and then yeah so disconnected radiator drained fluid got stuck yesterday with this so over here um Oh, quick quick disconnects for the uh, AC unit um, so basically what I had to go and do was went to go buy a tool this morning a uh, quick disconnect tool it's only, it was only 100 and, yeah, 143 bucks not too bad um, so disconnect that and then we just need to disconnect over here uh, like yeah those two those two there the, that's the, the power steering lines disconnect those because uh, they go to the ooh, go to the cooler um, <clears throat> yeah they go to the passing cooler and then this whole unit can bolt off and come up come out so then we've got access to our motor guys <laughs> status update um, I've been working quite vigorously today um, to try and get it done I don't know if you can see behind me but uh, yeah most most of the guys uh, stripped so you can see at the bottom here I've got the oil pan off uh, so drained the oil first obviously and then took the oil pan off that was a pain in the butt uh, I needed to use this putty knife whatever you want to call it and then I used this bad boy screwdriver here to push it in and just twist and pry until the cover fell off so I'm just letting that drain a bit uh, you can see there's the sump open so 
the reason I've done this is to take out two bolts. There's one, and not that one, but that one. So they need to come out. They they bolt into this bad boy over here. The timing cover. All right. So yeah, that's what I, why that has to come off, right? Then all of this must come off and uh and then the timing cover can can come off so yeah it's uh, a bit of a job but getting there um as you can see off front of the car door here's the radiator core listen let me tell you what a pain in the butt it is to remove power steering lines holy shite like <laughs> man oh man that was a pain in the butt you can see over here here's the hard lines that they connect to but my goodness, that was a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, and then <laughs> here's the um, aircon. You see those springs in there? Yeah, it's moving around. Anyway, that spring in there and that spring in there, they uh, get pushed back uh, so that you can release this. Now, the kit that I bought didn't work, so I had to make my own tool. Uh, basically, cut off this piece of plastic. Alright, cut off this piece of plastic, put a slit in it, you can see there, and then fold it over, push this in, and then where it wasn't making contact, use the screwdriver and then just pull this stuff apart. Um, yeah, so that's how I got that off. Uh, yeah, I'll update you again, I think, once I've got all the pulleys off and I'm ready to take off the cover. Hey guys, um, so I never ended up receiving parts uh, that week. Um, actual fact I still don't have the parts uh, but a very 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 generous mate of mine uh, in the GTR NZ club uh, we had a discussion and he blew his motor a while back um, and got a, a replacement motor little did he know when he received the motor it was a, a brand new crate motor from Nissan um, and in the meantime while he was waiting for his motor to arrive he bought a head gasket kit um, and Obviously, brand new motor. He's not gonna open the thing up. So yeah, he's like, here you go, take the kit. Um, so I'm back at it. Uh, obviously, the kit contains valve stem seals, which is the main component I needed. Um, but it's good because now I don't have to go and get uh, uh, what's it, cam cover seals and all those kinds of things as well. So the kit comes with that. So that's good news. Um, and platinum seals and all of that. So update on where I am. You can see here uh, all the timing chains and everything off. What I've done is I've marked out the motor. So we've got our right hand bank, our left hand bank, our three cylinders in each bank. Mark one, two, three, four, five, and six. And your two valves of each cylinder, um, marking what the front of the engine. So there we've got our um, variable valve uh, solenoid uh, sitting over there. So I've taken it off. You need to take that off to get your cans off. So you can see over here, I've still got some sealant that's lying here so I must uh, clean that up but uh, basically here we go that was covering the cans so that needs to come off to get the cans off uh, so that's done so what I want to actually show you guys is how I'm marking um, the camshaft so you can see there's already a casting in it that says it's left hand um, now I don't <laughs> I don't have the cam off yet to to see if it's marked intake or exhaust. So what I've done is I've marked what's which is the which side is the front of the cam with that arrow, and then I put an eye on it for intake, um, and then I'll do the same here. I'll put uh, uh, um, E on it for exhaust. Uh, yeah, and I can't see if this one's also marked left hand, right hand, uh, or left hand. But anyway. Uh, so that's where we are, busy doing that, and then I'm going to mark each cap as well. So I'm going to spray them, clean them, um, and I'll mark left L for left end, intake, uh, and a cylinder 2. So I'm going to put a 2 on it, so I know it's cylinder 2 intake. That's actually all I need to do, is cylinder 2 intake, and then mark which direction is up. So I'll maybe put an arrow or something on the up position, um, uh, mark uh cylinder two and the e for exhaust or i for intake yeah so that's where we are that's what i'm gonna do um and then lay out all the parts here so what it's, i'm gonna show you now is basically how i'm gonna how i'm storing uh the camshafts and uh bearing caps uh so 
like I showed you previously, I've marked them. Um, but just for like extra precaution, I'm keeping the bearing caps with the camshafts and I'm storing them in the house um, out of the way where they can't get damaged and stuff. So basically what I'm doing, I'm wrapping it in newspaper. Uh, after I've wrapped it, I place the bearing caps over, tape them to the newspaper um, and then tape the ends of the newspaper. So the, excuse me, so the camshaft is sealed. Um, yeah, you can see I've got one over here already done. Uh, what I've also gone and done is written down uh, which camshaft it is on the outside as also I also know. No spring and there's the valve stem seal. Yeah. 